Hey everyone, welcome to Commerce with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is something very special. Today is the finally the official Bueller bus tour. We're gonna show you everything on the outside, the inside, everything in between, pretty much everything is done. Some little things here and there, nothing really major, but you know what? 99.9% .9 of the bus is ready to go and it's time to show it off. And you know what, I'm pretty excited. But as you guys know, this is a comic book channel. So we're combining comic books and the bus and touring around the United States and going to comic cons and going to comic shops and coming to your house and showing off your collections and all that good stuff with comics. And I have a stack of comics that I picked up over the last couple of weeks, some good stuff, some old, new, AOKs, spawns, what I'm currently reading, a lot of really good books. And I wanna show it off. So we're gonna show that at the end of the video. We'll get to the Bueller bus or I'll leave a timestamp. If you wanna jump straight to the bus tour, you can do that as well. And then come back and look at the comics. You can do either way. Or, just so you guys know, I do have another channel. I just officially changed the name. It's now Bus Life with Bueller. I'll leave a link to that channel. I do a lot of live stuff on there and just more impersonal stuff. So you want to just hang out. That's what it is. Go check me out on Bus Life with Bueller. And I'll put this video there also, but without the comics and just the bus tour itself. And maybe a couple extra things. Uh, so you can check that out. So you can find me on both channels starting right now. So it's a lot of fun. But let's start with the comics. We'll get through these and we'll get to the bus tour. Okay, so let me show you what I got right here. Uh, these first few uh, spawns are from my good buddy, Sleepy Reader. Thank you so much, my friend. This first one right here is 263. He knows I'm gonna do a collecting a spawn run, so he had some extra, so he sent them my way. 267, not bad. 262, a couple doubles in here, or uh, variants, I think. 262, that's a variant. I like the sketch cover better, probably. Uh, 260, I didn't have any of these, so thank you, sir. Uh, 259, not bad. 258, I guess for a while he was collecting a spawn. And 261, really cool sketch cover. Get that one close there so you can see it. Wow, that is awesome. So those are the spawns I got from Sleepy Reader, and I got more spawns, I think, coming up a little bit later. So let me set these down. These next ones are from Dynamite, and they sent me these two, and they are amazing. Uh, I took the bags and boards off because it doesn't do it justice. This is uh, the metal cover of Evil Ernie number one. And let me put, look at this. I, I can't, I mean, I can't even get the all the shininess off it because it's just shiny metal, goodness. This thing is awesome, man. I'll put it that way. Freaking awesome. I love these things. Who would have thought stick metal, a sheet of metal on a comic book? Uh, they sent me this one as well. This is the, the Vampirella, I don't know, evil lady something. <laughs> there you go. Not bad at all. There you go. Man, these really shine. You can see the camera in the background. Anyway, I'll just show those real quick. I'll set those two down. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Dynamite. Next uh, books are from Boom. They sent me all the seven secret books. They sent me all the covers. So uh, this is number 14. I don't know which ones are which. Here's number 14. Usually it's the A and the B cover, the FLC, and the 1 in 25 or 1 in 10. Here is another number 14. And finally, the Virgin cover, whatever that one is, for 14. Um, I don't want these. If you guys want them, let me know. Uh, if somebody who's reading this series and you want these, just ask me in the comments. I'll do first come, first serve. So if you want these, let me know and I'll ship them to you media mail. <laughs> so there you go. Not bad at all. Um, so these next books are on my pull list. And uh, this is stuff I'm going to be reading. Cult of Icarus, number one. Scout Comics, not bad. Look at this one. Freak Show Kingdom, Second Sight Publishing, number one. Awesome. I think I already had a copy of that. Maniac of New York, Bronx Burning, number three. Hulk, number four. The uh, regular edition, I guess. Uh, Walking Dead, number 33. Uh, so these are all just on my pull list. King Spawn, number seven. And there's the variant. And then another copy. And I buy two copies because I give one to my little nephew who's just a few months old. I'm collecting King Spawn form, so there you go. Set those ones down. Next up is Saturday Morning Adventures G.I. Joe. 
I get a reason this. I had to buy it. Uh, and then this is just some regular books I got and just want to show them off. So here you go. Look at this badass thing. This is X-Force, the Rob Liefeld goodness. I don't know what it is. Man, let me show you that. Boom. Shiny goodness. Rob Liefeld at his best. Not his worst. At his best. Um, and then here's some more shiny covers. I just want to show these off again. This is Deja, or no, not Deja Thoris. This is Gin Hunter. Gin Hunter uh, by Black Box Comics. These are the shiny ones. This is Gin Hunter number one. Some shiny goodness. And another number one. More shiny. These are awesome, by the way. Shiny goodness. I want to make a shiny cover when I do an exclusive next time. That's kind of my goal. So set those down real quick. Uh, here's some more spawns. These are from Bob. This is number 67. Awesome. Here's spawn number 8. Number 96. These are all doubles he had. Number 10. That right there. Number 3. Yeah, number 39. Christmas spawn. And number 6. So there you go, those are all my spawns. We're getting down to the end here. These are just some random books I picked up. Uh, Scout's Honor number one. Got these for like 50 cents a piece. Number two, number three. Found my copy of the Evil Ernie number three, so I was happy to get that. Just wanted to show this again, Cursed Pirate Girl. This book is absolutely amazing, awesome. If you get a chance to pick this up, get it. Thor 21, it's awesome, uh, variant cover, homage. Uh, let's go set these down. Noctera number seven, variant cover, I like that one. I might have showed these before. Uh, Walking Dead 32, these are all on my pull list. Chicken Devil number four. Army of Darkness, uh, I don't know, number four. These are the homage this is sent me by Dynamite, so thank you so much, Dynamite. There you go. And the last one was sent to me by, uh, uh, it was AOK, -OK, and I'm uh, forgetting the name, I feel like an idiot, but was, they sent us an AOK, -OK, me and uh, Sleepy Reader and Bob. Tommy, Timmy, Timmy? <laughs> uh, anyway, they wanted me to have this one, they had a special note on the back, it's Punisher, it's really cool. Uh, uh, it's like in a foreign language. I can't figure it out. So well, it was really awesome. And uh, Spider-Man Punisher. And uh, I love it. So thank you so much for that. Uh, Timmy. Am I close? I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a horrible person. So anyway. Uh, those are some of the books I picked up. and Or were given to me. And I purchased and found. And uh, so there you go. Want to do a haul video combined with the tour video. So let's go ahead and jump to the outside of the bus. And we'll start the official tour of the Bueller bus heading your way. All right, so it's now time for the official reveal. We're looking at the front end of the Bueller bus. As you can see, buy, sell, go live uh, with the whatnot and Bueller logo there on the front. Um, obviously, I've said this before, whatnot had a lot to do with this van. And uh, you know what, without them, I couldn't have got this done, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the coming future. But you can see some flames on there kind of next to our uh, logos and stuff. And you can see the, the jet black with the nice chrome bumper. And uh, everything works. Headlights work, all that good stuff. And uh, so anyway, this is the front side. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. Show you the Bueller logo looking all nice. What not looking nice. I guess there's a more times together so i don't know what that means but i don't know what not times bueller equals uh, a black bueller bus <laughs> it's pretty cool i'll take it you know um all right let's move over to the uh driver's side and as you can see the cab is nice and black and you go up there there's the spider web that's for my buddy sam from sam's tangled web and there you go that's the featured side of the whatnot app itself uh i call this the whatnot side my logo is pretty big there the big you know congressman bueller sign right there uh you can see where it says download the app you can actually scan that uh code right there with your phone and you can download the app right from there um i don't know if i get a cut from that but if i do that'd be great if not you know what it doesn't matter 
Uh, but as you can see, this is a little wider shot from front to back and all the goodness. Kind of go around here on the right side, show you the Comics with Buter logo. You can compare it to the van right there, so it's a pretty good size logo in comparison to the van itself. And most of the windows are pretty much blacked out on this side. You can't really see from the uh, from the side of the street, so that's good. Uh, the wheels, we're going to get brand new wheels and tires. That's kind of what we're going to focus on next. Kind of get maybe some chrome wheels and nice tires to be going down the freeway and visiting all you guys and the comic shops and all that good stuff. But here you go. One last look of that side. Let's go ahead and move our way to the back, which I kind of gave away on my Instagram. It will spend some time on here a little bit more closer sorry i can't get any closer than this because my van's right there but you can see on top sponsored by and then all the sponsors of the bueller channel first one is the hero initiative um, i've worked with that charity for a long time they don't pay a dime uh for this uh, i do all the stuff for them for free and i've tried to raise uh, some money for them i've actually raised quite a bit of money for them so i'm pretty proud of that uh, Black Box Comics right there. Been working with them for a while. Bird City Comics. Uh, their logo was a little turned out different, so we got to fix that. Pretty sure we can get that done. There is the Mocha Express uh, Coffee. Obviously, my local coffee shop. They're pretty happy to see that. And you can also see the whole United States. I'm going to try to um, uh, put stickers of where I go or maybe signatures or something like that. That would look pretty cool on there or something on the back there. So... Anyway, it looks awesome. I like it. It's kind of a, a good idea. Obviously, there's no Hawaii on there. Just, you know, just water and stuff. And I don't have Australia on there. With, uh, not Australia, Alaska. But I should have Alaska. It'd be kind of nice. But anyway, that's the back end. I'm going to try to move around the bus or around the van here. Give me a quick second. All right, we'll come up on this side. And still the back side. But you can see the Comics on Coffee logo. And there is my Sam's Tangled Web logo uh, for my buddy Sam who passed away uh, just last year, just a few months ago. I really wanted to put that on there. It was very important to me that I got that taken care of because I wanted him to be with me. Uh, he was a really dear friend, and you'll always be with me on my travels, buddy. I uh, love you a lot. Miss you every day. Uh, so anyway, that's the back end. There's still room for more sponsors, too, so... You never know. Okay, let's move on to the uh, passenger side. And that's my garage right there that gets into the back. You can see my logo with the whatnot logo with the little dots that kind of go around um, like a map and stuff. And it leads to Comics Cross Country. And that's kind of the uh, theme of the, of the bus. We're going across the country to celebrate comics and highlight comics. Those windows are not covered, so you can see in there. They're a little tinted, and I have shades, but if I'm interviewing someone on the bus, you'll be able to see inside and, and see what's going on. Here is the front doors. I'll try to step back a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Sorry, my garbage can's in the way. So there you go. Get the full view, my dead tree right there, of the Bueller bus from the very uh, passenger side. Looks really cool. Very happy with it. Um, just kind of move along here. I think we're going to go to the front a little bit more. Just give you a, the last part of the uh, front side. So you can, if you see this coming at you, be prepared. Because, I mean, it's, there's no brakes on this thing. It's nonstop. Okay, let's go inside and take a look inside the bus. And here we come. Inside the bus right here. You can see this is the cab. Um, nothing too spectacular. It's just the cab. I didn't really do much to it. Um, pretty much everything stock. I will have a, um, backup camera, I believe, and some other things on there. There's my B for Bueller. That's the doormat. So people can wipe their feet on my B and stuff. And, uh, anyway, not too exciting. Got my cooler for some drinks and some storage up there. I'm going to redo that a little bit. Uh, but really the cab wasn't really the main focus. I really wanted to build the, the body of the, uh, Bueller bus up. <laughs> So let's turn around and uh, take a look. There's my little dangly lights. Those are nice. We'll take a look inside the cool Bueller bus. Here we go. Look at the wood floors looking good, you know, and uh, this is the best angle I can get. It's pretty narrow, so I'm trying to work with what I got here. And we'll kind of go through and show you everything on the bus. Like I said, wood floors, uh, nice wood ceiling. I put that up there. 
Um, we'll start over here on, on the left side. We have these wonderful seats, leather, and they're very comfortable seats. I love those things. People love them. I had shag carpeting. That red carpeting is shag carpeting. I have a nice little table. That's going to be replaced with a different table. Got my uh, Marvel Superheroes arcade machine right there. But look, I can put my comic books underneath my seats. I can fit three boxes on each side. So we're looking at six uh, short boxes of books underneath the seats. And some other hiding places as well. So that's not the only place those books are going to be. But anyway, this is my nice little dining room area. You look up here, I have my cabinets. The coffee and comics logo is up there. Those will fold up so you can get in there, put storage and you know whatever you need to. I have my little uh, buddy up in here. Let me see if I can pull him out. Come on. I got uh, Baby Yoda or whatever that thing is hanging out there on the side. Hey, Baby Yoda. Groot, whatever his name is. I don't know. Guru? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like I said, my Marvel thing. Hey, uh, move on side here. We got some more storage. I got another arcade machine for my Miss Pac-Man. Uh, this is my daughter's dresser thing. I'm probably going to give that to her and just leave this open for storage and stuff like that, uh, which should be good. Here is the Bueller bed, and it's not made. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't forget to put the new comforter on there. Um, that back shelf that you see above the bed, I'm going to take that out. I'm not happy with it. I need more headspace, so I'm going to rip it out, uh, redesign it and redesign the back end a little bit. So that's one of those things I need to do before I get going. I should probably have that done within a couple weeks or so. Uh, but there's tons of storage underneath the bed as well, which is awesome. There's my fan that works really well. And I have a ceiling fan as well. This is the uh, cabinets on the left-hand side. I don't have the doors on them yet. I have to make those. So that's another little small project. Here is my wonderful uh, back wall full of stickers that I put on there, all sorts of different cool stickers and I tried to be you know hip and stuff um, here is my Jackery 1000 watt generator that thing's awesome here is my internet booster so I have internet throughout the whole country which is great here is my wonderful kitchen counter look I got water I got running water and everything um, I need to hook up the gray water tank I'm going to do that this week uh, but a nice cutting board nice long counter it's tall a lot of storage uh, a lot of these are bolted down to the counter so they don't uh, come off which is very important learn that lesson very quick i'm going to take a seat right now and show you the cabinets and stuff and here is cabinet where's my five gallon clean water and then my uh, uh dark water here is my little refrigerator and some storage underneath there and this is all storage for pots pans whatever i need to put in there and also the bottom ones but these were the pictures that were on the uh coffee and comics set I turned them into uh, doors, so it worked out pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good tour of the thing. There's some wrestling going on, but let me see if I can turn the camera around and uh, say hello to you guys. And there you go. So that is a kind of a uh, tour of the bus. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the outside and everything. And like I said, I just want to say uh, um, whatnot really stepped up to adopt this project and help me out. Um, really, I couldn't be able to go on this journey without them um, because there is, uh, I mean, you guys all know that the gas or diesel is just outrageous right now. It's a, twice what it was a year ago. And the cost of to do this is actually more the cost for like the mortgage of my monthly for the house, uh, depending on how much I travel. So I'm not really saving any money by uh, moving out of my house and stuff. And just so you guys know, I sold my house, but it was my it was my mother and my uncle's house that I was living in, and so I didn't get any of the money from the house. It goes to them. Uh, I was just been pretty much renting it from family members over the last few years, so for a really uh, uh, affordable price. So thank you to them. Uh, but yeah, I don't get any money from the sale of the house, so it goes to my mom, and she could really use it. So I'm happy that she got that taken care of. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see anything else. Let me know. I can't think of anything, but you'll be seeing more and more of the uh, a bus as time goes on. Obviously, I'll be filming in here and doing videos around the bus outside and and all sorts of uh, cool things. Um, I said this before. I have a van life wish list, and man, you guys bought almost everything on the list. There's like two things left, and they're like twenty or thirty bucks, so it's no big deal. I can just buy them myself. Uh, but man, I mean, there was items on that list that were over a thousand dollars. 
and some of you guys bought those for me and it's just the generosity of the community and people's willingness to give is just tremendous and uh i'm gonna do my best to give back uh that's kind of what i want to do and i enjoy giving back and i, I want to uh, pay it forward so uh, that is my goal uh, on this trip paying it forward meeting great people uh you know it's extending the comic community to maybe people who don't know about it you know and sharing some stuff and we have free comic books that we're going to be giving away as part of this trip and endeavor uh thanks to some friends of mine and whatnot and other sponsors so it's going to be just a lot of fun and uh, uh without a combination of you guys and those people I, I, you guys made it able for me to live a dream and a lot of you guys have said that you're living the dream Bueller. I, I am i really am so it's pretty damn cool <laughs> and i'm very grateful i might even get my tooth fixed but <laughs> maybe i don't know uh, anyway uh thank you so much everyone uh hopefully you enjoyed the 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 tour of the bus the outside the inside uh a few more things to get done like i said the wheels and tires Gonna get new brakes, uh, check the suspension. And just check some things off the list before I feel comfortable driving across the country. And uh, we'll go from there. I still need to get the, the uh, all the right paperwork and the tags and all that stuff because I have a trip permit right now and and I want to get uh, the plates and everything and, and uh, everything good to go because I don't want to travel across the country on just trip permits. So I gotta get all that taken care of. So it's in the works, just DMV is taking forever right now and that's fine, it is what it is. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer because of the weather and uh, the longer I can wait, the better the weather is going to be for me to go over the pass and through the mountains and stuff like that. So I don't mind waiting a little bit longer. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much. I enjoy it uh, showing off this bus. As you can see, I'm pretty excited. Uh, my family's excited. Uh, they're, they, they're through the moon. And, uh, you know, uh, my house is pretty much empty right now. So I'm in, in the bus. I'm, I'm living in here pretty much. So it's all good. All right, everyone, appreciate your time, and I will see you soon. All right, later.